all my fellow small business owners. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you step by step how to fill out the beneficial ownership report. Hello everyone, my name is Mariah, I am a fellow small business owner and on this channel I like to share with you business tips, give you guys business advice and new grant opportunities. If that interests you, make sure you subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with all of my new content. Now guys, before we get into this video, I am currently still getting over a cold, so forgive me if my voice goes in and out, but I want to welcome you guys into 2024 and to get off on the right start, we're going to go ahead and fill out your beneficial ownership report so you don't have to worry about it in the future. If you don't know what the beneficial ownership report is, it's basically a report that you're filing to show who's the owner of the business. I know I have had this question come up, what if I don't use my LLC or EIN? If you're not in the process of closing your LLC or closing out your EIN number, just to be on the safe side, I will report it because it is super easy to do. You don't have to pay anyone to do it for you. And that's what I'm going to show you today. So the first thing we're going to do is head on over to fenson.gov BOI. Once you're on the website, you're going to scroll down a little bit you're going to go over to file a report using the BOI e-filing system. It says, welcome to the BOI e-filing system. The BOI e-filing system supports the electronic filing of the beneficial ownership information report under the Corporate Transparency Act. The CTA requires certain types of U.S. and foreign entities to report beneficial ownership information to the Financial Crimes Enforcement Network and Bureau of the U.S. Department of Treasury. All right, so once you look on the side, we're going to go to beneficial ownership information reporting. Need to file the BOIR. Click here. You don't have have to worry about this part this is a different type of report so we're going to click this one now once we get to this page it's going to give you two options file pdf boir option is where you download it print it off you'll fill it out and then you'll re-upload it to your computer or whatever and then you'll submit it now if you file online it's much more simpler i did it online three times and it's really easy to do so we're going to go to prepare and submit boir this is just letting you know that the U.S. government is monitoring you as you complete this report. You'll select I agree. Now once we scroll down, it says beneficial ownership information report. Complete the report in its entirety with all required information. The required information is going to have that little red star next to it. If it does not, you don't have to fill it out. But if you want to fill it out or you have the information that they're asking for, Go ahead and fill it out. This is the main part people are asking me about. What filing type do I have to select? Okay, and if you hover over it, it should let you know what each type is. Initial report is check box 1A initial report if this is the first BOIR filed for the reporting company. So this means if this is your first time filing for that specific business or company. If you have multiple different companies, you have to submit a new report for each business or company. Correct prior report. So you'll select this if you have already filled this out and you had some inaccurate information, you would like to go and fix it. You'll select this one. Update a prior report, meaning that you want to update the report that you have sent in with inaccurate information or if you just want to update it in general, like if you want to update the owner or etc. Now remember, if you are exempt, you do not have to fill out this report. But if you are a business that was currently not exempt and becomes exempt, you'll select newly exempt entity and that's when you'll put in the information that you're now exempt. We're going to put in that we're an initial report. Right here is going to be the date that you submit this report. You're going to agree to the Privacy Act and Paperwork Reduction Act. We're going to go next. For this part, I'm just going to be putting in a fake business. Right here, you're going to select request to receive a fencing ID because you currently don't have one. You're going to select this if you're a foreign pooled investment vehicle. Hover over it so you guys won't get confused. Check this box if the reporting company is a foreign pooled investment vehicle. Required to report information. Persuade if the reporting company is a foreign pooled investment vehicle. 
the company need only report one beneficial owner who exercises substantial control over the entity. If more than one individual exercises substantial control over the entity, the entity shall report information with respect to the individual who has the greatest authority over the strategic management of the entity. The report should not include any information about the company applicants. If that does not apply to you, just select request to receive a FinCEN ID. Next, you're going to put in your legal name. So we're going to put in Susan's Garden LLC. If you have a trade name or DBA, you'll put that right there. Tax identification type. We're going to just be using an EIN. If you have an SSN or ITN or a foreign, you'll put that. So for our EIN, we're just going to put nine jumbled up numbers. Okay. Do not put a dash in your EIN because when I first applied for this, it aired me because I had a dash in there. You only put numbers. Next, you're going to put your country. We're in the United States. What state you're in. We're in Illinois. Your address, I'm just going to make up an address. City, zip code, territory again, United States. And we're in Illinois. On the next page, you're going to check this box if your business was created before January 1st, 2024. Now, if you're a new business that was created after January 1st, then you won't select this box because you'll have to fill out the applicant's information. We're going to go ahead and select this box and it says attention when exiting reporting company is indicated all company applicant fields will be cleared disabled. Do you wish to continue? Yes. Now we're going to scroll down. We're going to go to next. Now if this company is owned by a minor, the parent or guardian will have to put in their information instead of the child. I'm not a child. So we're going to leave that blank. You won't have to fill this out because you're a new applicant. You don't have a fencing ID yet. If you're newly exempt, but you were previously not exempt, you're going to go ahead and select exempt entity. Now we're going to enter our name, our date of birth, our actual street address of the owner. Since we work from home and my business is the same as my address, I'm going to go ahead and put in the same address. Now this part is where you're going to identify yourself. You're going to select the identifying document that you would like to submit. You can submit a regular ID, a US passport or a foreign passport. I'm going to go ahead and put in a state issued ID. I'm just going to put a bunch of numbers. Okay. Your country again, your state. And then this is where you're going to upload your identifying document image. Now, when I was first doing this, I came up with another error. You cannot put anything like driver's license. You can only add something that says add attachment or just attachment.png and then you'll be able to upload it. Now you're going to go to next. You're going to put in your email address, confirm your email, your first and last name, and then you are certifying that I am authorized to file this BOIR on behalf of the reporting company. I further certify on behalf of the reporting company that the information contained in this BOIR is true, correct, and complete. You'll select agree. And then of course they have the handy dandy I am human. And then you'll select that and then you'll pick the matching pictures and then you're going to submit your BOIR. Now we're not going to submit this because this is just an example video. Business. But what it should bring up is this page right here. It should look like this submission status confirmed filing success. You may download the transcript below and then on here, you'll get your fencing ID number right here. This is what you will use and please download this for future reference. If you need to go back in and correct some errors or anything like that, you don't need anyone to file this. If you feel comfortable filing this on your own, this is a step-by-step -step guide to show you how to file it on your own for free using the fencing.gov website. So if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give me a like. If you have any questions or concerns, make sure you comment them down below and for more, make sure you subscribe.